Hello, grade two. How are you? Hope you are fine. Let's start chapter eight, lessons from 71 to 80. Chapter eight contents are even and odd numbers, number patterns, and arrays. Numbers can be divided into two groups, which are even numbers and odd numbers. Now, it's story time. Soha is a mother for two kids, Adam and Malak. She used to give them everyday cookies. On Monday, she had four cookies to distribute them among her kids. Today, she has only three cookies. Let's help her to distribute the cookies among them equally. Now, let's see how the mother will distribute four cookies among Adam and Malak. The first cookie will go for Adam and the second cookie will go for Malak. The third cookie will go for Adam also and the last cookie will go for Malak. As we see here, there is no remainder. Each of Adam and Malak now has two cookies and there is no remainder. So we can say that four is an even number. Now, let's see how the mother Soha will distribute the three cookies among Adam and Malak. The first cookie will go for Adam and the second cookie will go for Malak. Now, the mother Soha has one cookie remainder and she cannot distribute it among Adam and Malak. So, we can say that three is an odd number. Three is an odd number as we have one remainder. So, what are the even numbers? They are the numbers that will be distributed into two groups equally and the remainder will be zero. Like four cookies, do you remember the four cookies? They are distributed among Adam and Malak with no remainder. So, even numbers like zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, and so on. What did you notice here? We noticed that even numbers start from zero and skip counting by two. While the odd numbers, they are the numbers that if we try to distribute them into two groups equally, there will be a remainder like the three cookies. Do you remember? Do you remember the three cookies that distributed among Adam and Malak with one cookie remainder? The odd numbers like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 15, and so on. What did you notice here? We noticed that in odd numbers, we start counting from 1, and we skip counting by 2. Again, and pay attention, in odd numbers, we start from 1, and skip counting by two, like one, three, five, seven, and so on. Determine whether each of the following numbers are even or odd. How to know whether 234 is even or odd number? It has multiple digits, which are four, and its place is ones, three, and its place is tens, two, and its place is hundreds. Now it has multiple digits. So how to decide whether it's even or odd? 
Look at the ones digit. If it's odd, then the whole number will be odd. If it's even, then the whole number will be even. Now let's look in 234 at the ones digit, which is 4. As we studied that, 4 is an even number. So the whole number 234 will be even. Examples for even and odd. Now let's remember even and odd numbers. 0 even 1 odd. 2 even 3 odd. 4 even 5 odd. 6 even 7 odd. 8 even 9 odd. Now let's solve the first question. 73. Look at the ones digit. 3. Yeah, 3 is odd number, so the whole number 73 will be odd. The next question. 49. Look at the ones digit. 9. 9 is odd number. Yeah, so 49 will be odd. The next one. 98. Look at the ones digit. The ones digit is 8. And 8 is even number. So the whole number 98 will be even. The next one, 61. Look at the ones digit. 1. 1 is an odd number. So the whole number will be odd. The next one, 100. Look at 0. The ones digit. 0 is an even number, so 100 is even. The next one, 537. Look at 7. Yeah, the ones digit. 7 is odd number, so the whole number will be odd. Let's move to the next one, 372. Look at 2, the ones digit. Yeah. 2 is an even number, so the whole number 372 will be even. The last one, 944. 4 is an even number, so 944 is an even number. Yeah, now we are very good to determine the numbers even or what about adding even and odd numbers? If we are adding even number plus even number, the result will be even. If we are adding odd number plus odd number, the result will be even too. If we are adding odd plus even, the result will be odd. If we are adding even plus odd, the result also will be odd. So, as we noticed that, adding the same type, the sum will be even, while adding different types, the sum will be odd. Adding even plus even, the same type equals even. Odd plus odd, the same time, the sum will be even. While adding different types like odd plus even, the sum will be odd. And adding even plus odd, the sum will also be odd. Add each of the following numbers and determine whether the result is even or odd. The first example, 42 plus 34. As we mentioned that adding numbers of the same type, the result will be even. While adding numbers of different types, the result will be odd. 42 plus 34. Look at the ones digit in 42. 2 is even number. So even plus 34. Look at the ones digit 4. 4 is even number 2. So even plus even, the result will be even. Now let's check. 42 plus 34, add 1s with 1s and 10s with 10s. 2 plus 4 equals 6. 4 plus 3 equals 7. So the result will be 76. Now let's check. Look at 
the ones digit in 76. Yeah, six, six is an even number. The next question, 23 plus 15. Look at the ones digit, three is odd number. And in 15, the ones digit is five, odd number two. So odd plus odd, the result will be even because they are of same type. 23 plus 15, ones with ones, tens with tens. The result will be 38. So look at one's digit in 38. 8 is even. Yeah. The next one, 80 plus 13. Look at the one's digit. The one's digit 0. 0 is even number. Plus 13. Look at the one's digit 3. 3 is odd number. So even plus odd, they are different types. So the result must be odd. Add ones with ones and tens with tens. 80 plus 13, the answer will be 93. The last one, 25 plus 74. 25, look at the ones digit, 5. 5 is odd number. And 74, the ones digit, 4. 4 is even number. So odd plus even equals odd, because they are different type. 25 plus 74. 99. Check. Look at 9, the ones digit in 99. Yeah, it's odd. Lesson 71, the apply part. Determine if the number is even or odd, then record it in the chart. The numbers are written below the table, and we will classify them into two parts, odd or even. For sure, 1 is odd, 2 even, 3 odd, 4 even. 5 odd, 6 even, 7 odd, 8 even, 9 odd, 10 even, 11 odd, 12 even, 13 odd, 14 even, 15 odd, 16 even, 17 odd, 18 even, and so on. The mass journal part, reflect on your learning. Do you notice anything that the even numbers or the odd numbers have in common? Is there anything you noticed as you were testing the numbers? What do you know about odd or even? Draw or write your answers. We noticed that even numbers we start from zero and skip counting by two. While odd numbers we start from one and skip counting by two. So, in both even and odd numbers, we skip counting by Lesson 72, the apply part. Double each number and then determine if the sum is even or odd. If we are adding doubles, means adding the same number. So, for sure, it will be of same type. So, if we add doubles, the result will be even number. 1 plus 1 equals 2, even. 2 plus 2 equals even number because they are doubles. The result equals 4. 3 plus 3 equals even number because they are doubles. The result equals 6. Yeah, 6 is even. 4 plus 4 equals even number. The result equals 8. 5 plus 5 equals even number. Because they are doubles, so the result equals 10, and 10 is even. 6 plus 6 equals even number, and the result equals 12. 7 plus 7 equals even number, because we are adding doubles. So, the result equals 14. Look at the ones digit in 14. Yeah, 4 is even. 8 plus 8 equals even number. The result equals 16. Look at the ones digit. Yeah, 6 is even number. You can practice more by solving the rest of these examples as we solved earlier.
Lesson 73, the apply part, choose two cards, record the addends as an addition operation and find the sum. The first question, 4 plus 5 equals 9. 9 is odd number. The next question, 3 plus 1, 3 plus 1 equals 4. 4 is even. The next one, 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4 equals 6. 6 is an even number. 7 plus 4, 7 in my mind, 4 on my fingers. After 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 is odd number. Look at the ones digit in 11. The ones digit in 11 is 1. 1 is odd. 10 plus 3 equals 13. 13 is odd number. Look at the ones digit in 13, 3, 3 is odd. 24 plus 5, 24 plus 5, big number in my mind, small number on my finger. After 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 29, look at the ones digit in 29, 9 is odd, so the whole number will be odd. You can complete the rest of the questions by yourself. They are very easy and you can do it. Now, lesson 73, the math journal part. Reflect on your learning, color even numbers red and odd numbers blue. What patterns do you observe? We will color the following numbers with red as they are the even numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. While the odd numbers with blue, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. We will observe that in both even and odd numbers, we skip counting by 2. Here we start with the second topic in chapter 8, which is number patterns. Number patterns can be increasing number patterns or decreasing number patterns in increasing number patterns if the number is written from small to big then the pattern is increasing the pattern from small to big it's increasing the pattern like 2 5 8 11 numbers are getting bigger are getting larger so it's increasing pattern while in decreasing pattern if the number is written from big to small, then the pattern is decreasing pattern. From big to small, decreasing pattern, like 14, 12, 10, and so on. Numbers are getting smaller. Now, let's explore the following patterns. The first pattern, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. What did we notice here? We noticed that each time we are adding 2. 2 plus 2 equals 4. 4 plus 2 equals 6. 6 plus 2 equals 8. 8 plus 2 equals 10. And so on. So, this pattern is increasing pattern because the numbers are getting bigger. And the pattern rule is plus 2 because each time we are adding 2. The next pattern, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, and so on. What did we notice here? We noticed that each time we are subtracting 5. 45 minus 5 equals 40. 40 minus 5 equals 35. 35 minus 5 equals 30. 
So this pattern is decreasing pattern. This pattern is decreasing. Why? Because number are getting smaller. 45, 40, 35, and so on. And the pattern rule is minus 5. Because each time we are subtracting 5. How to determine the pattern rule? Look carefully at the following steps. Number 1. Look carefully at the pattern to determine whether it's increasing or decreasing. If it's increasing, put plus in the pattern rule. Increasing means numbers are getting larger. If it's decreasing, put minus in the pattern rule. Minus or decreasing pattern means the pattern is getting smaller. Subtract each two consecutive numbers to get the difference. Apply the pattern rule to complete the pattern. Here is the following examples. The first example, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. What did we notice here? We noticed that this pattern is increasing pattern because the numbers are getting larger. 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. How to find the pattern rule? Number 1. Increasing pattern, so put plus. Number 2. Subtract each two consecutive numbers. 2 and 4. Big number minus small number. 4 minus 2 equal 2. 6 minus 4 equals 2. 10 minus 8 equals 2. So, the pattern rule is plus 2. Plus because it's increasing and 2 is the difference. The next question, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, 0. What did we notice here? We noticed that numbers are getting smaller. So, this is decreasing pattern. So we must write minus in the pattern rule. And how to get the difference? Subtract each two consecutive numbers. 45 minus 40 equals 5. 40 minus 35 equals 5. 35 minus 30 equals 5, 2. So the pattern rule is minus because it's decreasing pattern. And 5 is the difference. So, 30 minus 5 is 25, 25 minus 5 equals 20, 20 minus 15, sorry, 20 minus 5 equals 15, and so on. Lesson 74, the apply part, complete the number pattern, write the next two numbers in the pattern. In the first question, 2, 4, 6, 8. Each time we are adding 2 because it's increasing pattern, so we are adding. So 8 plus 2 equals 10, 10 plus 2 equals 12, and so on. The next one, 0, 3, 6, 9. So how to find the pattern rule? Yeah, the numbers are getting bigger, so each time we are adding 3. How we find the difference? 3 minus 0 equals 3, 6 minus 3 equals 3, and so on. And this is increasing, so we must add in the pattern rule. So 9 plus 3 equals 12, 12 plus 3 equals 15, and so on. The last one, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, it's also increasing pattern. So we are adding 5 each time. How do, we, how do we find the pattern rule? Subtract each two consecutive numbers. 15 minus 10 equals 5. 20 minus 15 equals 5 and so on. So each time we are adding 5. We are adding 5, not subtracting because it's increasing pattern. So 25 plus 5 equals 30. 30 plus 5 equals 35. Question number 4. The numbers are 20, 30, 40, and 50. 
So this pattern is increasing or decreasing pattern. It's increasing pattern. Why? Because the numbers are getting bigger. So we will write plus in the pattern rule. The number is increasing by what? Increasing by 10, 20, 30, 40. Each time we are adding 10. So the pattern rule will be plus 10. Fifty plus ten equals sixty. Sixty plus ten equals seventy, and so on. The next question: the pattern is five, seven, nine, eleven. So the pattern is increasing or decreasing pattern? It's increasing pattern because the numbers are getting bigger. So each time we will add. So in the pattern rule, we will write plus. Plus what? Subtract the first two numbers. 7 minus 5 equals 2. So each time we are adding 2. So plus 2 will be the pattern rule. 5 plus 2 equals 7. 7 plus 2 equals 9. 9 plus 2 equals 11. 11 plus 2 equals 13. 13 plus 2 equals 15. And so on. The next pattern, 12, 14, 16, 18. So, the pattern is increasing or decreasing? It's increasing. The numbers is getting bigger. So, we will write plus in the pattern rule. Plus what? Subtract the first two numbers. 14 minus 12. 14 minus 12 equals 2. 16 minus 14 equals 2 also. So, the pattern rule is plus because it's increasing pattern and 2 because each time we are adding 2. So the pattern rule will be plus 2 also. 12 plus 2 equals 14. 14 plus 2 equals 16. 16 plus 2 equals 18. 18 plus 2 equals 20. 20 plus 2 equals 22. The last one, the pattern in question number 7. 4, 8, 12, 16. So, this pattern increasing or decreasing? Yeah, it's increasing pattern because numbers is getting bigger. So, we will write plus in the pattern rule. Increasing by what? Subtract the first two numbers. 8 minus 4 equals 4. 12 minus 8 equals 4 also. So, the pattern rule is plus 4. Plus because the pattern is increasing. And 4 because each time we are adding 4. 4 plus 4 equals 8. 8 plus 4 equals 12. 12 plus 4 equals 16. 16 plus 4 equals 20. 20 plus 4 equals 24. Lesson 76, the apply part. For each pattern, identify the rule, draw a line to match the pattern to its rule, and complete the pattern. Now we will find the pattern rule and match, then we will complete. Question number one, the pattern is 75, 66, 57. First you have to ask yourself, the pattern is increasing or decreasing? The pattern is decreasing because numbers are getting smaller, so we will write minus in the pattern rule. Minus what? Subtract the first two numbers. 75 minus 66. Don't forget that. In subtraction, big number comes first. So we will subtract 75 minus 66. So we will find that the pattern rule is minus 9. Now let's complete. Each time we will subtract 9. 75 minus 9 equals 66. 66 minus 9 equals 57. 57 minus 9 equals 48. 48 minus 9 equals 39. 39 minus 9, each time we will subtract 9, equals 30. 30 minus 9 equals 21. 21 minus 9 equals 12, and so on. Question number 2. 30, the pattern is 30, 40, 50. You have to ask yourself, the pattern is increasing or decreasing? 
it's increasing pattern so we must try plus in the pattern rule so each time we are adding what subtract the big number minus the small number 40 minus 30 equals 10 so each time we are adding the 10 so the pattern rule will be plus 10 30 plus 10 equals 40 40 plus 10 equals 50 50 plus 10 equals 60 60 plus 10 equals 70 70 plus 10 80 then 90 then 100 it's so easy question number three the pattern is 12 18 24 ask yourself the question the pattern increasing or decreasing yeah it's increasing pattern so we must write plus in the pattern rule and then ask the first two numbers 18 minus 12 equals what equals 6 so the pattern rule is plus 6 so each time we are, we will add 6 12 plus 6 equals 18 18 plus 6 equals 24 24 plus 6 equals 30 30 plus 36 36 plus 6 also 42 42 plus 6 48 48 plus 6 54 and so on in pattern number 4 the pattern is 66 70 74 this pattern is increasing or decreasing pattern it's increasing pattern yeah so we will write plus in the pattern rule if it's increasing write plus in the pattern rule if decreasing write minus increasing pattern so we will write plus in the pattern rule increasing by what subtract the first two numbers big number my number 70 minus 66 so the pattern rule will be the pattern rule will be plus 4 so each time we will add 4 74 plus 4 equals 78 78 plus 4 is 82 82 plus 4 equals 86 86 plus 4 equals 90 90 plus 4 equals 94 and so on in pattern number 5 90 80 70 yeah this pattern is decreasing pattern so we will write minus in the pattern rule and then subtract the first two numbers 90 minus 80 equals 10 so the pattern rule will be minus because it's in decreasing sorry it's decreasing and each time we are subtracting 10 so the pattern rule is 10 90 80 70 minus 10 equals 60 minus 10 equals 50 minus 10 equals 40 minus 10 equals 30 minus 10 equals 20 you can complete the last one by yourself Lesson 76, the math journal part. Reflect in your learning, create a number pattern that involves addition or subtraction. Write the pattern and the pattern rule. Here we will write this pattern. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Do you remember it in the clock? So this pattern is 5, 10, 15. What we do the pattern rule each time we are adding fives. Five plus five equals ten. Ten plus five equals fifteen. Fifteen plus five equals twenty, and so on. Now we can say that patterns has two forms, which are normal pattern and mixed pattern. Normal pattern means we are adding or subtracting the same number. We are adding or subtracting the same number, like. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and 21. Look carefully. This pattern is increasing pattern. So we must write plus in the pattern rule. Plus what? Subtract the first two numbers. 6 minus 3 equals 3. So we are adding 3. To make sure, subtract the next two numbers. 9 minus 6 equals 3 also. Yeah, so each time we are adding 3. 3 plus 3 equals 6, 6 plus 3 equals 9, 9 plus 3 equals 12, 
1 plus 3 equals 15 and so on so what about next pattern what about the next pattern let's explore here together the first example 30 32 29 31 28 look carefully at the first two numbers 30 becomes 32 yeah it increased so we must write plus in the pattern rule plus what subtract the first two numbers 32 minus 30 equals 2 so we are adding 2 then look at the next two numbers 32 and 29 now 32 becomes 29 so it decreased decreased by what ask yourself subtract 32 minus 29 32 minus 29 equals 3 and it's decreasing don't forget it's decreasing 32 decreased to become 29 so we will write minus minus what minus 3 then the pattern rule is plus 2 minus 3 plus 2 minus 3 then the next one then we add 2 29 plus 2 equals 31 31 minus 3 equals 28 28 plus 2 equals 30 30 minus 3 equals 27 27 plus 2 equals 29 29 minus 3 equals 26 yeah now we can say that the pattern rule is plus 2 minus 3 because each time we are adding 2 then subtracting 3 adding 2 then subtracting 3 and so on look at the next one 13 14 16 17 19 now look at 13 and 14 13 becomes 14 it increased so we must write plus in the pattern rule plus what subtract 14 minus 13 equals what equals 1 so the pattern rule for the first two numbers is plus 1 look carefully at the next two numbers 14 and 16 14 increased to become 16 so we will add add what subtract 16 minus 14 it will be 2 so it's plus 2 the pattern rule here is what it's plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 and so on the turn is 4 plus 1 16 plus 1 equals 17 then 17 plus 2 equals 19 19 plus 1 equals 20 20 plus 2 equals what 22 yeah 22 plus 1 equals 23 23 plus 2 equals 25 so the pattern rule is plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 the next example 45 44 42 41 39 look carefully at the first two numbers 45 becomes 44 it decreased so we must write minus in the pattern rule minus what subtract the first two numbers 45 minus 44 equals what equals 1 so we will subtract 1 45 minus 1 equals 44 fine look at the next two numbers 44 and 42 44 becomes 42 it decreased as we said it decreased put minus in the pattern rule so we will write minus minus what subtract 44 minus 42 equals what equals 2 so the pattern rule is minus 2 then the turn 4 minus 1 42 minus 1 equals 41 41 minus 2 equals 39 39 minus 1 equals 38 38 minus 2 equals 36 36 minus 1 equals 35 so the pattern rule minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 so here we will make plus sorry we will make minus 2 not plus minus 2 35 minus 2 equals 33 so the pattern rule is minus 1 and minus 2 the last one 40 45 
44, 49, 48. Look carefully at the first two numbers. 40 becomes 45. It increased. Fine. So we will write plus in the pattern rule. Plus what? Plus 5. Subtract 45 minus 40. It will be 5. Look at the next two numbers. 44 and 40. Sorry, 45 and 44. Yeah, it decreased. If it decreased, so we will write minus. Minus what? Subtract 45 minus 44. So we are subtracting 1. Then we are adding 5, subtracting 1. Adding 5, subtracting 1. Till we finish. So now we can say that the pattern rule is plus 5 and minus 1. Lesson 77, the apply part. Use the given rule to finish the number pattern. Here the rule is plus 5 and minus 1. We will apply the rule to complete the pattern. The first time we will add 5, then subtracting 1. Add 5, then subtracting 1, and so on. The first number is 34. So 34 plus 5 will be the first step. 34 plus 5 equals 39. Then subtracting 1. 39 minus 1 will be 38. 38 plus 5 equals 43. Then we added 5, then we will subtract 1. 43 minus 1 equals 42. The next question, I'll give you the pattern rule and the first number. The pattern rule is minus 2 plus 1 and the first number is 62. So the pattern rule is minus 2 plus 1, minus 2 plus 1. So the first time we will subtract 2. 62 minus 2 equals 60. Then 60 plus 1 equals 61. Then subtract 2. 61 minus 2 equals 59. 59 plus 1 equals 60. Finally, we reach the last topic in chapter 8, which is about arrays and skip counting by 2, 3, 4, and 5. What is the array? It is a set of rows and columns without any gaps. Like the following pictures, eggs are arranged in rows and columns and there is no gaps in between. So this is an array. The next picture, donuts are arranged in rows and columns with no gaps. So this is also an array. The last picture, Cookies are arranged in rows and columns, and there is no gaps in between, so this is also an array. As we said, arrays is a set of rows and columns without any gaps. So look carefully at this picture to decide whether it's array or non-array. Here we have a set of rows and columns, but there is some gaps. There are some gaps here, so this is non-array. The next picture, here the items are arranged in rows and columns with no gaps in between, so this is an array. The last picture, here we have rows and columns, but incomplete, there is gap here, so this is non-array. As we said, arrays has rows and columns without any gaps. Arrays has rows and columns without any gaps. Look here at these pictures. Donuts are arranged in rows and columns with no gaps in between. So this is called an array. How many rows here? Rows means as we move horizontally. As we move horizontally, it's called rows. While as we move vertically, it's called columns. As we move vertically, it's called columns. Now, let's count the number of rows and number of columns. How many rows we have here? One, two, three. How many columns? One, two, three, four. So we have three rows and four columns. Now, we want to give this array a name. 
Each array must have a name. So the name of the array is rows by columns. The name of the array is rows by columns. Pay attention, rows must come first. So the number of rows here, how many rows? Three rows, so we will write three. And must write the word by, by. Then write the number of columns. We have four columns here. Then this array is three by four array. Don't forget to write the word array. So the array is three by four array as it has three rows, four columns. As we said, arrays has rows and columns without any gaps. Don't forget. Look carefully at this array. It has no gaps in between, so this is array. It has rows and columns. The rows as we move horizontally. Here we have two rows. Two rows. Why the columns as we move vertically? The first column, the second column, the third column. So it has two rows and three columns. Now we want to give this array a name. We said that the name of the array is rows by columns. Don't forget rows must come first. So the name of the array is rows by columns. How many rows we have here? We have two rows, so we must write two. And the word by, how many columns? Three columns. And don't forget to write the word array. So this is a two by three array. The name of the array is two by three array. Now let's help our rabbit bunny to reach the carrot. Hello bunny, how are you? Hope you are fine. We will help you to reach the carrot by skip counting by two, okay? You can jump by two each time to reach the carrot. Now you can start jumping and we will help you. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, and the twenty. Congratulations, bunny, you reached the carrot. You can eat it now. Now we will help you to reach the carrot by skip counting by three. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and 21. Count by 3, every one. 24, 27, 30 is the last one. Yeah, you reached the carrot again. Bravo. Now, Bunny wants to reach the carrot by skip counting by 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. 28, 32, 36, and 40. Yeah, congratulations, Bunny. Bunny will reach the carrot now by skip counting by 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Congratulations, Bunny. Lesson 78, the apply part, glue your favorite array. Look carefully at this array. It has no gaps and it has rows and columns. How many rows in this array? We set that rows as we move horizontally. One, two, three, four, five. It has five rows. And how many columns as we move vertically? One two, three. So it has five rows and three columns. So what is the name of this array? The name of the array is rows by columns. So the name of the array is five by three array. Lesson 78, the math journal board. Reflect on your learning. Why might it be important to know about arrays? 
how might we use arrays, write, or draw your thoughts and ideas? We use arrays to count the arranged objects easily. Like this array, it has how many rows? Now let's count the number of rows. One, two, three, four, five. It has five rows. And how many columns? One, two, three. So it has five rows and three columns. The name of the array is what? Rows by columns. It has five rows and three columns. So this array of this array is five by three array. Lesson 79, the apply part. Count the rows and write the addition equation. Then count the columns and write the addition equation. In the first array, we have how many rows as we move horizontally? One, two, we have two rows. And how many columns? One, two, three, four, five. We have five columns. Now, let's write the addition equation for rows. Each row has how many squares? Each row has five squares. So we will write five plus five two times equals 10. And the addition equation for columns, we have five columns. Each column has two small squares. So we will write two plus itself five times equals 10 also the next question this array has how many rows it has two rows one two so we will write two and has how many columns one two three it has three columns the addition equation for rows we have two rows each row has three fish so we will write three plus three two times equals six and we have three columns. Each column has two fish. So we will write two plus two plus two equals six also. The next one. In this array, we have two rows. As we move horizontally, so we will write two. And have how many columns? One, two, three, four, five, six. It has six columns. So the addition equation for rows is 6 plus 6 2 times equals 12 and if we counted the number of flowers in columns we will write 2 plus 2 plus 2 how many times we will add 2 to itself 6 times so it will be 12 the next one this can now count the number of rows 1 2 it has 2 rows and has how many columns? One, two, three, four. Has four columns. So the addition equation for rows will be four plus four equals eight. And the addition equation for columns, we will add two to itself four times because we have four columns. So we will write two plus two plus two plus two. Four times equals what? Equals eight. The next one, now count the number of rows, one, two, three, four, equals four rows. And how many columns? One, two, two columns. The addition equation for rows, two plus two plus two plus two, four times, because we have four rows. So, two plus two plus two plus two equals eight. Now, the addition equation for columns, we have two columns. Each column has four. So, we will write four plus four equals eight also. The math journal part, reflect on your learning. Where have you seen arrays in real world? Write about or draw your ideas. Yes, we see array in real life. Like these eggs, they are arranged in array. So, it has two rows and six columns. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, the name of the array is rows by columns. Two by six array. Lesson 80, the apply part. Solve the array, write the equations. 
Look at the first array. It has how many rows? One, two. It has two rows. Has how many columns? One, two, three. Has three columns. Now we have to write the addition equation for rows. Each row has three apples. So we will write three plus three two times because we have two rows. Three plus three equals six. Now the addition equation for columns. Each column has two apples. Two plus two plus two equals six also. So the name of the array is the rows by columns. Be sure, rows by columns. So this is a two by three array. The name of the array is two by three array. The next array, it has how many rows? Count the number of rows. One, two, three. We have three rows. We have how many columns? One, two, three, four. So we will write four. Now, we will count the number of items in each row. Four plus four plus four equals 12. Now, count the number of items in each column. Each column has how many? Has three. Three plus three plus three plus three. How many times? Four times because we have four columns. Three plus three plus three plus three equals what? Equals 12. This is a what by what array? The name of the array rows by columns. We have three rows and four columns. So this is a three by four array. We finished all the topics in chapter eight. Thank you and bye bye.